yeah, 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 I'm still waiting on an opponent yet, but um, I imagine that'll be confirmed in the next few weeks. So, uh, yeah, not long now, just over three weeks out of there, and uh, we're back in there. Whether it be on the big shows or small all, I've, I want to stay busy. I believe that's when you make most improvements, and that's when you see the best out of me when I'm busy. So I have no problem ticking over on this show, and then the big shows um, will come very soon again. Brother relationships are father-son relationships where you don't want to be seen to favour him in any way. And uh, I'm probably a little bit harsher on him than the others, but the good thing about me and William, you know, we're super close, we're very, very different people, but we're very, very close and there for each other um, in sort of everyday life if needed. But it's it's one of them, like, there's been times where we have a disagreement in the gym, the odd time it gets heated. Um, but the moment we get in the car and I drop him off back home, Oh, we go for a coffee after it's forgot about. We might like speak about it for 30 seconds on the way there, but it, it never gets any more heated. And I think that's a, a key in it. My brother's my coach, but in here he's my coach, he's not my brother, if it makes sense. Like, uh, there's no different relationship. He's coached me all his life, and it's always been like that. Like, there's no special treatment for me, or like, I'd probably answer me back a bit more to everyone else because it's just my brother. But if he says something, I do it, and um, whatever he says, I'll do. I'm hoping for a decent step up to get us moving up the ladder. So yeah, I'm hoping for a tough fight and I want a tough fight for all the people that come and watch me. Just so I see me in a bit of a firefight. I definitely need a step up in quality and I think that'll bring the best out of me. And it'll be good for the people that come and watch me too, to watch me in a really tough fight. And I just need to start moving up the ladder because fighting uh, journeymen, etc. Do you have any favours from your ladder apart from experience? Probably the fighter I'm really excited about and like I say, I believe once he gets given the opportunity he'll take it. There's journeymen who like will fight a lot of the top prospects in Britain. I always find that a great gauge because for instance I'm friendly with MJ All and Bobby fought him, fought him twice actually. He speaks very highly of Bobby as one of the best kids he's been in with recently. And and I look at that as a good gauge and other Journeyman or even the cornerman go, no, he's a very good kid. So his time will come, his time will come. But this is the hard bit now when you're not with a TV promoter, sticking with it. And like you say, thankfully, Bobby, he's got his head screwed on him. But uh, he's a super talent. Yeah, I've won my last two, both by stoppage, both in the first round. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm really coming into my element now. I feel strong, fit, compact. Uh, I believe they get hard, but it's like last fight there, I wasn't trying to blast him out, I was setting the shots up and took him out of there and uh, I believe in three weeks um, I still, I'll be going to do the same, I'll be going for a stoppage, my boxing confidence is sky high, physical I'm sky high, I feel the fits have been, performance have been the best and I've not been out of the gym and uh, that's where you do your learning like I say, in, in the gym, in the spas and stuff like that and I've not been out of it and uh, I feel you see a different fighter again in um, three weeks to my last one. And like you did from the last one to the one before that, I believe the improvements every single time. At this gym, we're all friends and we all have good laugh, but um, it's just good to be around people who've done it before at the highest level. And uh, like, and, and um, there's a lot of fighters in this gym now, like Rhiannon, who's going to be fighting for world titles. So it's just great to be around. And they've come from nothing, and they've come from the very bottom of the sport, and come come up from like ants, come from like grassroots boxing through senior senior ABAs and turn pro early and done it the really the really hard way but the proper way of doing it and Rhiannon's come from a um, white collar so um, definitely gives me confidence going forward. No I'm really excited about 2024 I think there's a huge few months coming up obviously Rhiannon Dixon has got a world title shot and it's a fight that listen it's a tough fight but it's one that I believe she wins and she's coming well um, and then that only helps the camp and it's sort of like everyone bounces. I always remember when, when I was like at Gallagher's gym with Joe and it would, everyone feeds off each other, you know, you're all competing like the session today. There's, you know, it's that friendly competition, but who hits the most numbers on certain exercises and that, and that, that can only bring each and every fighter on. I'm always very mentally strong. I, I, don't, I don't leave no stone unturned and I'm training under a, a former world champion. 
and I just take the boxing in my stride. I don't really think about it too much. I just come in the gym and I do it, and I get in the ring and I do it. So it's it's not it's not it's not too much of a, a, ta a mentally taxing sport to me. I've got like you say, you got Rhiannon fighting for a world title in just under ten weeks. Uh, seeing what she's done, she won the Commonwealth and European title last year. Bobby, Bobby will get onto the big show soon. Majorly talented. Spar them a lot, they're always great rounds. I believe when he gets on the big stage, he'll stay there. It's going to be a big year for me, if so the gym's got a lot of good stuff going on at the minute, and uh, no, yeah, I think this year will be massive for us. Uh, I'd like to think that uh, for the people who are going to be new to watching me or when I get onto these bigger shows, I'd like to think I bring a lot of flavour and, and a very, um, just very adaptable style. And you'll see me some great fights with some of these top level super lightweights. You know, if you look in the gym, there's not, there's not the decorated amateurs are out like that and I'm sure, listen, in time they might come but I think it sort of proved like no matter what level you got to as, as an amateur with sort of with hard work, sort of persistence and I always say that little bit of luck, there's no reason why you can't go in there and win titles.